Hey everyone, so this video is to explain a little bit about Artsonia. Um, I just want to start off by explaining that Artsonia is optional, um, so it's a recommendation, it's not a requirement, um, but it's something that I would like you to start thinking about using because one thing that's really nice about Artsonia is Artsonia is a great way to keep a portfolio of your artwork. So if you ever move on from, um, or when you move on from eighth grade and you get to the high school, um, if you forget a project back at the middle school and maybe like, let's say I, I happen to lose it or Mr. Hoffman lost his from seventh grade or whatever, um, this is actually a really good resource for you to go back and to see what you did uh, in middle school. And sometimes it's kind of fun to look back on that. So when you think about Artsonia, Artsonia is a website. It's a national website where um, teachers will share lesson plans. Teachers can look up. Um, different lessons that schools are teaching. Um, they do a, a national artist of the week, okay, which we've actually gotten twice, which is pretty cool. Um, so um, I had a student my first year teaching that won the national um, artist of the week. And I actually had a student last year that also won the artist of the week, um, which um, does give you an opportunity to win. I believe she won $100 um, to an art um, catalog, which is pretty cool. So here's what you're going to do when you finish your project, whether it's the um, hands project, graffiti project, um, whether you're an on level or advanced, um, what you're going to do is you are going to go to um, Artsonia, the application. Okay, and I'm, and I'm going to point out it's right here. Okay, and I'm just going to use my iPad for this one. If you have a phone at home, um, or if you have a phone in person, a cell phone, you can download the app. Um, you should also be able to do this from the actual website. So if you type in artsonia.com slash class, okay, the big part of that is it has to say slash class. If it doesn't say slash class, it's just going to take you to the national website um, and it's not going to get you very far. Okay. First thing it's going to ask you, <clears throat> are you a parent, student, or a teacher, you are a student, and it's gonna ask you for the access code. The access code is C-H-F-R-C-H-P-F. -F. Okay, now it's gonna take you to Jackson Memorial Middle School, um, and that's exactly where we wanna go. You're gonna click the green button, and it's gonna ask you to type in your name. Okay, so I'm gonna type in a name. Let's see, who do we got? I will use Johnny. Okay, I have Johnny in eighth grade. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull up your artwork from last year, okay? Um, and at the top right, okay, up here at the top right, you're gonna click add new artwork, okay? And when you do that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna have the project for um, the, it's going to have the project that you're currently working on. So if you're uploading your graffiti project, you click graffiti. If you're uploading your hands project, you click hands, um, et cetera. So you just got to go down the list, make sure you click the right one. Um, when you do that, it's going to ask you to take a picture. What I want you to do is I want you to take the picture as flat as possible. Okay, so try to hold your phone or your device nice and parallel right over top of your artwork. Take the picture. It's going to allow you to crop the image. Okay, so when you crop the image, I want you to try to get rid of anything outside of your artwork. I don't necessarily need to see the table. I don't need to see um, your living room. I don't need to see your kitchen or any of your animals that you have in your house or anything like that. I just want to see uh, your artwork. Okay, so you're going to click on that. Um, and let me show you what this will look like. So um, let me see. C-H-F-R-C-H-P-F. Okay. Um, you can select your grade, which grade are you in? You're in eighth grade. Okay. It's going to ask you to find your name. So I'll just click on a random name and it's going to have all your projects from last year. Okay. I'm not going to embarrass anybody, so I won't look through those. Um, but once you upload it, then you're good to go. Now, as a parent, what you can do as a parent is you can go to, let me just do it. You can go to artsonia.com. Okay, you can check out, you can check everything out under parents. Um, but if I just go to, oh, I can just do it from here. If I just go to the national, this is the website. You click gift shop. 
And if I scroll down to the bottom, you can get t-shirts with your artwork printed right here. Okay, let me go back. Um, let's say Father's Day is coming up. You can get a coffee mug with your artwork printed right here, which is really cool. Um, let's see, you can get Christmas ornaments. You can get it framed. Um, there are so many options on here, um, even more than when we actually started doing this. So you can get an apron if you want. Um, you can get a drawstring backpack. So um, let's just say you did a really cool graffiti project of your first name. Well, oh my, you can get a, you can get a fabric mask. That'd be kind of funny if you showed up to school with your artwork on your face. That'd be pretty cool. So um, there are all sorts of options here. Um, the sketchbook, that's pretty cool. Uh, drawstring book bag. So um, you have all sorts of options when it comes to things that you can purchase. Now, the really cool thing about purchasing from Artsonia is that Artsonia, and the reason why we use it is because Artsonia gives back 30%. I believe it's 30%, it might be 20%, but they give back 30 to 20% of the proceeds and they give it back to the school so that the school can afford and, and kind of use this as a fundraiser for supplies um, in the future. So um, it really works out for everybody. Um, it's a really cool opportunity for gift for the gift shopping and things like that. So hopefully you find this cool, interesting. Hopefully your parents take a look at it and um, yeah. Make sure that you're doing this for your projects only. Um, the sketchbook assignments, you don't really need to upload those. If you would like to, and you can, you're more than welcome. So I will post the code, the CHFR, CHPF. It's a little bit, I've had to memorize it over the past couple of years. So I'll go ahead and post that in Polaris. Um, and then this is just a, an option for you. Um, like I said, it's not required, but it's a pretty, pretty good recommendation. All right. If you have any questions about Art Sonia, obviously don't hesitate to ask.